made possible by 343 Studios. What's going on? We have a new piece of equipment. Yeah, it looks like a plug aerator. Exactly what it is. Tow behind plug aerator from Agrifab. And we're gonna put this dude together here at my friend Dustin's house. We're going to uh, put this little thing together. Got this thing on sale. Originally, they're like 300 and some dollars, less than $200 for this. So, pretty awesome. All right, we got the thing open. That's what it looks like once you get the box open. That's how mine came. So, uh, we got some boxes in here full of stuff, parts. Looks like we got some uh, metal plates. Very nice looking wheels. The tongue. All that good stuff. Let's go ahead and get this pulled apart. Get all our parts separated and we'll see what we got. All right, guys. So first initial thoughts of this is uh, make sure your ground is really good and moist, uh, or this doesn't do very good. It'll just it'll kind of scratch the ground more or less. So make sure either you're going to water the day before <clears throat> or the night before you um, aerate. Like down this ditch here that we're doing, aerate it fine because it holds more water. As you see, we did a big uh, dethatch job here. And we aerated, I'm waiting on another rain so I can aerate again, uh, but uh, yeah. And the whole block thing, like you can see here as I go down and kind of show you, uh, it is pulling some half plugs here and it's pulling a, you know, a decent core there. Uh, it does a pretty good job. Uh, it probably wouldn't hurt to have a little bit more weight and uh, I'm going to kind of show you uh, Something I found here I thought would make really cool weights to uh, weigh your unit down. So we came across this idea, lifting weights. And it did a pretty good job. Here we're <coughs> aerating and, and uh, it's, it's pushing them down in there uh, a lot better than it had previously. Uh, and what's the reason of aerating? Well, it pulls plugs to allow air, nutrient, nutrients, <laughs> nutrients, water, seed, and fertilizer down into your root, which will help promote a better growing grass, as well as a uh, much greener grass. Uh, it just, the, when the grass gets more oxygen to the, um, to the roots, it, it earns a better green. So, definitely for aerating. In the fall is the best time to do it. So they make different size aerators. This is a 40 inch. I have a 48 inch which basically gives you two more tines, I believe. Uh, and if you have a lot of thatch in your lawn, this is another way of making your thatch thinner, and that always makes your lawn better. You can pull these with any kind of tractor, um, any kind of you know piece of equipment that has um, the pull behind. As you can see, this one has a little bit different lever um, on it to lower and raise it. It has pretty much the exact same setup. Uh, the cinder blocks, uh, do make a way of weighing it down. Uh, make sure you got them good and bungee strapped on there because they will bounce all over the place. Um, it would be cool if Agrifab would come out with some sort of system to help hold those bricks down so we don't have to use bungee straps because even bungee straps will make those things bounce. And I don't like that. If you're needing replacement tines, you can get a hold of Agrifab and they have those and anything else you may need to replace in stock. And oh, by the way, it is USA made right here in Sullivan, Illinois, just a few minutes up the road from me. So if you're on the market for a pull behind, tow behind aerator from Agrifab, then look no more than the 48 inch Agrifab tow behind core aerator and that's the best way to aerate is core aeration. It does a really good job and it's easy to do. You just drive back and forth across your lawn. Now, if the cores are really wet, then you want to make sure that you rake those up off the property. If they're somewhat moist, they'll dry up, decompose, fall apart, and go back into the soil. Make sure that you follow directions by putting your unit together. If you buy one that's in a box and that needs to be put together like I did, because it can get confusing, but everything will fit the right way and work the right way as long as you follow directions. But hope this has helped you made a decision on your toe behind aerator that you're interested in. I'm the Nathan 343. 
Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Again, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.